Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says Give a geometrical construction for finding the fourth point lying on a circle passing through three given points without finding the center of the circle. Justify the construction. Now let's move on to the solution. First we consider let ABC be the given points And these points A, B, C lie on the circle with center O. We need to locate a point, say point D, such that this point D also lies on the circle. So, first of all, with B as the center and radius, equal to AC we draw an arc so we have drawn this arc taking B as the center and radius equal to the measure of AC then in the next step with C as the center And radius equal to AB, we draw another arc such that it intersects the previous arc. So this arc is drawn taking CRC center and radius equal to AB. Let this point of intersection of the two arcs be marked as the point D. Then we say that this D is the desired point such that it lies on the circle with center O. Now for the justification of this construction that we have done, we will join BD and CD. Next we will consider the triangles ABC and DCB. Now in these two triangles we have the side AB of triangle ABC is equal to the side DC of the triangle DCB. Since as you know that in the construction we have drawn an arc taking C as the center and radius equal to AB. So from this construction we get AB is equal to DC. Next we have that the side AC of triangle ABC is equal to the side DB of triangle DCB. This is again by construction since with BRC center and radius equal to AC we had drawn an arc. So this is also by the construction. Then BC is equal to CB that is the common side. Therefore we say that triangle ABC is congruent to the triangle DCB by the SSS congruence rule. And this implies that angle CAB is equal to the angle BDC. This is by the CPCT that is corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Now, we know that if a line segment joining two points subtends
equal angles at two other points lying on the same side of the line containing the line segment the four points lie on a circle so according to this result that we have just stated we get that the line segment joining the points b and c subtend equal angles angle cab and angle bdc at the two other points a and d lying on the same side of the line containing the line segment bc so these four points that is a b c d are concyclic that is they lie on a circle so hence proved this completes the session hope you have understood the solution for this question